This is the boring head. As you can see, it offsets to one side by turning this Allen wrench. You can keep offsetting it. This dial is by diameter, not radius. So if you turn this ten thousandths, the bore is going to change by ten thousandths. Now the longer the boring bar, the more flex you might get. So if you run it in once, it may change by ten thousandths, but if you go back and run it in again, you might get a couple of thousandths bigger when you start going for your final cut. Okay. Uh, this is an inside micrometer. So it, uh, you know, you have to be very careful working with an inside micrometer to get your, your deal. And depending on which extension you use to what bore you change the ends out on these things and for different bores. Set of precision squares so that you can check how, how big your square is. You can change different... I uh, should have said this earlier, but for this boring bar, Here's different boring tools that fit in this boring bar. These are different fly cutters for surfacing your mill. This happens to be a fly cutter that I made out of a piece of big round stock. You get different carbide cutters that you can put into the, your cutters and you can change the cutter, loosen the set screws, extend the cutter out and uh, get a bigger diameter of fly cut. 